Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, and we're currently asked if we want to participate in the next year's game convention. And currently, we have Mad Games Star and The Slayer 2 um, to be released, and we're actually taking up a publishing deal. We're not creating the game ourselves, we're just publishing. Um, I'm going to go with a small buff and just going to boost a Slayer 2, because Mad Games Star is kind of running out of its life. Uh, it's it's kind of over. We made a lot of sales here. It's a good, good game. All right, fire safety. Wait. More safety. Okay, I should buy more fire extinguishers. Sure, here's a second one. That should do the trick. Um, but yeah, it's going to release in 14 weeks. We should run a marketing campaign on that, I feel. The Slayer 2. Some game magazines, maybe. Just to, like, get some get some initial boost. Uh, we made a, a user interface. That's great. And I think, yeah. We're, we're not selling anymore. It's time to take the game. Oops. It's time to take the game off the market. Uh, where do I do that? Take game from market. The Slayer didn't even sell yet. Uh, Mad Game Star, we're going to take that off. Yes. All right, fantastic. We made 8.2 million with that. That's exciting. It means we can pay people for quite a while. And over here, well, what am I going to do with all of you guys? You might as well do some contract work, even though it's... Well, let's do that, sure. Because we're not developing our own game right now, and research is not that big. Uh, our research department. We're just going through all the silly features. For color support, I actually... Why am I researching for color support? I'm pretty sure I would not want that in an engine. That's just silly. Um, but yeah, like 16-bit sound sounds good to me. Okay. So, the Sayer releases in 10 weeks, and we're going uh, gonna go ahead and produce the game now for, let's say... Uh, gonna go with 500,000 just to be on the safe side. We're gonna have to shell a lot of money there. And if we're not selling it, that's gonna be a bummer. But yeah, sale starts in seven weeks, so we still have a little bit of time. We actually did a little bit of marketing there, and I think to create another one would be a good idea. We're gonna do a radio campaign for the Slayer 2, and that should be finished when the game is already released. Alright, let's research more features. I'm going to have to go... Surreal 3D Audio. Ah, interesting. Uh, we're gonna go with just some 16 color bit support, standard stuff. And I'm really looking forward to that. To creating my own game uh, engine. So we don't have to give 40% to some sucker. Also, we can sell it. So that's exciting. And we get like 50% of other sales, which is crazy. But I am not going to complain about that extra amount of cash we get. And this is a busy office. All right, the Slayer's on the market, and it's sold already. Quite a lot, actually. That's exciting. I think it's time to produce a little bit more yet. We already said half of it. Ah, uh, we made back our money. Yay, and now it's time for money. Already half a million just by that deal. That's great. Uh, yeah, let's, let's research the level editor. Pricey stuff. Okay, we're going to have to produce a little bit more. I, I still don't understand how the produce automatically works. Because it's not automatically producing. But at least it seems. And... Produce game... I say 250,000 more. Should do the trick. Well, it's selling like... Still a lot per week. Well, what can you do? Create a little marketing campaign. I say... Just some magazines. Just throw that on there. Well, we still keep researching our features. Would probably be faster if I had everyone working at it, but our office is too small for this. All right. Uh, let's do a isometric to the engine feature thing. Feature, yes. Okay. Well, it was not a bad deal. We made like two million on this and we could sign another one. <laughs> one star. And eh, no, I don't, I, don't feel, I don't feel we should we should do that. I'm going to reject that offer. That seems silly. And, yeah, probably a good idea to start developing our own game now, again, or engine. That's what these guys could work on, but still not, we don't have enough features yet. Like, you know, cutscenes, 256 color support, pre-rendered graphics, all the good jazz. Let's just throw that at it. They're just going to do some contract work in the meantime, just work through that. Not that it's going to take any time. Okay. I feel it's not yet time to 
production. It's not yet time to take this thing off the market. I'm going to produce 100,000 more, I feel. Or 50,000. Eh, 100,000 is fine. Uh, let's remove that automatically. That's just confusing to me. And let's make some good sales here. Just shell out the remaining stuff. The Slayer Free. Ooh! Wait, did they? Is that just the sequel already? That was fast. Sure, I'm gonna sign a contract for that. I'm going to release it in, let's say, 12 weeks. Yeah, 12 weeks sounds good to me. Yeah, 14 weeks. We're going to put in a black and white manual. What, you're kidding me? $2 retail? Share for developer 74. Oh, I made a big mistake. Well. <laughs> Guess it's a, it's a high retail price of 25 bucks, and I'm only putting a black and white manual into there. I mean, it's a good game. Look at look at the 80% we we're, we're having here, but I'm not making a lot of money on that. You got you got to be kidding me. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and produce the game then. I'm gonna say a million. We sold like 700,000 of this one, so take game from market. Uh, I'm going to take Slayer 2 from market now. Yep. I made 12 million on that. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Shelling out a lot of money to produce this one again, but what can you do? We're gonna eventually going to produce our own engine, I promise you guys. Yeah, let's do just the contract work here. Nice thing with contract work is your workers also get some extra cash money. So we're gonna create a marketing campaign. TV Slayer just really, really boosting this one. I definitely want to make my money back, even if it's only seven, four uh, dollars per sale. And we're going to participate with a small booth. I hope I make my money back. Well, four more weeks. Gives me time to research all these great features. We're going to make the coolest engine and we're going to be rich from it. <laughs> Nico, let's go bowling. Okay, already cost me eight million. To produce the sucker. So. Come on, marketing campaign. Marketing campaign. We're gonna be a sad weasel if we don't make back the money here. Oh, do that the marketing campaign. It's a good title, but it seems that we're. <sighs> did a really bad deal here. Did a really bad deal. Probably gonna lose out quite a bit of money here. See, for dollar profit. If I remove this to 21, so we sell more, we make like two per per box, which is nothing. Like next to nothing. Man, we lost a lot of money on that deal. I'm not going to produce for you guys anymore. Screw that noise. Uh, Texture-based renderer, sure. Horrible. Horrible. The Slayer 3 sold extremely well. Well, I'm not making a whole lot of money on that one though, which is a big shame. Yeah, we're gonna create another marketing campaign, just an international magazine to hopefully sell a few more. Of course, we can't develop a... Actually, we can develop a game update for this? Are you kidding me? Sure, I'll develop a game update for the Slayer Free. Which apparently also gave me a reward, so I got a few more fans. And a texture-based renderer. We researched that. Okay, fantastic. Let's throw some VR 3D support onto this. Alrighty then. Campaign has been completed. Let's hope it sells a few more. <laughs> barely, barely. Well, I'm just gonna be happy if we get we get rid of our stock that we have and at least have not too much loss. All right. Internet multiplayer. I don't think we need that yet. Let's just do some smaller ones. Well, maybe the game update is gonna throw some extra sales on it. Yeah. The two two dollar profit margin was really not enough. I should have read the contract better. Really, guys, make sure to read the contracts when you sign something. All right, research features, internet multiplayer, cutscenes. I think I can now start developing my own engine after we have the sixteen bit music. And I think someone, yeah, this guy needs to be in the dev office. Okay, it's actually kind of cool. We're going to now develop this thing. Ah. Uh, we have 5 million. I hope that's going to be enough for our own engine. 
We're just throwing the remainder over. Okay, good. Let's see. Develop new engine. Develop new engine. Oh, we can improve old ones. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, we're going to optimize this one for, let's say, RPGs. Okay. RPG sounds good. <sighs> the features we want. Uh, I don't think I want those low color supports and ASCII text. That makes no sense. But I kind of need it, I guess. Oh, that's going to be a pricey engine already. I already see it. But we're also going to... Wow. Pricey. Super pricey. It's a million just to develop this. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw all the features on there. 1.17 million for RPGs. And we're going to call it the RPG. Uh, no. I guess... The Weasel Death Kid 1.0, that's the first version. Uh, for RPGs, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna sell the engine. Oh, sh damn it. I will have to look up other engines first to get an idea of the market. Uh, buy engines. Okay, so currently we got engines like the ITEC, 45%, 80,000, 34 for ego shooters. Man, everyone's into ego shooters. Well, never mind then. Uh,. Well, I hope we can... I, I'm gonna go for 40% profit share. I would be happy with that. And let's say uh, 50,000. I really want people to buy this thing. Uh, buy the engine once we develop it. And I'm gonna go more for the uh, RPG, yes. Features... Do, 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 do. I'm going to go more for the sale revenue than the initial sale. You know? If you give a company an engine for zero dollars, but they have to pay you 40% of their revenue... Alright, we're gonna sell the engine for 25,000 and we're gonna do a 40% profit share. It's less than the comp- uh, Yeah, 40% profit share. Actually, I'm gonna go down to 35. I really want other companies to use this, and this is, uh, again, it's the Weasel Development Kit 1.0. For RPGs. So let's start development. And go developing. The f best thing about this is we can use it for ourselves. And in the meantime, we're going to, well, research um, more stuff for our engine. Like cutscenes and stuff. Okay, this thing we can take, we can safely take it off the market. We made 3.6 million loss on this one. I guess I could see if I could remarket this as a budget game. Uh, the Slayer. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Games bundle. Can I bundle? No. I guess I have to wait to take something from the market. Take game from market, the Slayer free. Yep. Profit, 9.6 million. Nope, we did not make that. Not we. Because we lost quite a lot of money on that. But let's see if I can remarket this as a game in a games bundle, maybe? Nope. Wait. Oh, different games. Okay, the Slayer Free. Can't do that yet. It's remaining weeks. Oh, I have to wait. Okay. Uh, made game star, though. Sold really well. I would love to do a budget game. Let's do a budget version of the game. 10 weeks from now, maybe? Yeah. Just so we make some extra cash on that. And we're gonna include a color manual and the retail price. Yeah, let's put it to 15. Make it make a good sale here, $7 profit. I have no idea how well that would sell, but we're going to create a marketing campaign for that in Games Magazine so people know it's gonna be on sale. We're gonna sell the remainders of Slayer 3 and Slayer 2. Very well. And we're going to produce Mad Game Star. We're going to sell that. Uh, I say 100,000 because I have no idea how well that's going to sell. If I can make a little bit of extra cash there, I'm going to be happy. That's, uh, oh, yeah. Let's promote Mad Game Star. Sure. The eco version of it. And see how that well sells. Okay. We're working for our engine. That's exciting. Got some uh, research, some features. You know what? Let's research the quality music like that. Okay, the game is going to release in five weeks. So it's maybe a little bit much, I gotta say. But we'll see how it does. And we completed our engine. That's cool. I think it's time to actually then... What is that? What engine is that? Real-time strategy apocalypse setting. Um, I think it's time to develop a game now. And it's going... Oh, maybe we should ramp up the size as well. I'm sticking with the A size game, maybe. Just to see how that does. It's a smaller game still. Still within reach. Of course, it's going to be an RPG. I could do a successor though, actually. We had a successful RPG. Yeah, RPG. 88%. Did really well back then. Um, it was about pirates. 
And it's going to be R the RRPG. Very, very good title, Weasel. Very good title. <sighs> With my favorite engine, the one that I made myself, the Weasel W Weasel DK. Weasel Development Kit. There you go. Is that still oh. Also I want the A size. Kidding me. Okay. Of course, we're going to throw it on all the big platforms. I like that the image changed for personal computer. And we're going to do a fourth platform. Apparently, yeah, once I was taken off the market, we're going to get the Mimtendo N64. Yes, we're releasing N63. We're going to release for that. Has a little bit of market share. Uh, copy protection. Uh, I'm going to buy one. HHV, whatever that stands for. That's good. And concepts, we're going to take the RPG concept. Yep, did really well. And yep, we're going to take all of these settings, copy the concept. But, of course, we're going to use other features because we have so many more now available. 17 out of 15 means I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to kick something for that. Um, polygonal 3D renderer. Um... Well, you know what? Let's remove the... Mm, I need a joystick driver, mouse driver. LAN multiplayer and VR... Yeah, VR 3D support and shader support. I'm gonna throw those out. But texture-based... Yeah, it makes no... I guess this makes sense. We'll figure it out. Let's start developing. 1.45 million. <sighs> Let's see if we can sell a few extra copies with Star. I'm really excited to see how well the sales. Well, it's selling like 24,000 per week. I'm not entirely sure why we get like minus 11 million from Mad Game Star. That game did way better than that. That might be a little buck here. Uh, but yeah, we already sold all of that. Um, so let's produce, I say, 100,000 more. To not, you know, lose out on that. Oh wow, yeah, it's actually going up. Let's produce more of the game. Let's say 250,000 just to be on the safe side here. I'm not gonna mine some extra sales. Wow, it's actually just very steady sales, 25,000 per week. Very, very steady. Um, oh, I totally forgot. Damn it. I'm the worst, you worst. We need to grab all of these people and throw them in here. Yeah, one from marketing is, or oh, that's development. Um, yeah, let's keep on the marketing and let's remove some bugs. And create a campaign. It's gonna be a nice big TV campaign for RPG. I'm gonna make sure that one sells good. And I hope we can work and get rid of those bugs, please. Well, I mean, pretty pretty great how well this game sold. Um, price, I'm gonna reduce the price for this down to, let's say, 12. Boost the sales a little bit here and there. And we're probably going to just sell the remainder soonish. Okay, the marketing campaign for RPG actually was already done. Oh. Oops. Didn't want to remove that desk there. You know what? Might as well do some posters for Mad Game Star. This is going to take some time until this is finished. And I want to see if I can actually boost the sales for Mad Game Star. And not too much. It's not like 5,000 per week. It's like 25,000 per bucks. I mean, we're keeping our money pretty on the same level, which is exciting. So we're not going into the red anymore. Okay, we removed pretty much all the bucks. Let's take one from here and throw them into development and create another marketing campaign. I say we do... Eh, we do nothing. We wait a little bit. Island of Monkeys. Ooh, would you look at that? That looks really good. Your profit share, 43%. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sign a contract. I'm gonna sell that. It's a strategy game, um, but it seems to be really good. You do not have enough money. Oh, I'm going to have to pay them five million bucks. Right, right. Um, that is what I missed. Five million bucks. Ooh, quite a lot. Nah, I'm going to reject the offer. It's probably been a good game, but what can you do? I hope people will use our engine, though. I wonder if there's some stats around that. Uh, engines. I'm going to set it to 10,000. Just to see how it does. Hope someone really uses that. I remember having a lot of success with engines. 
Okay, you guys. Too good for death. Too good for death. Okay, I think it's time to stop selling this game. Take game from market, make game start. Yes. Yeah, I mean engine. That's 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 laughable because I'm not paying the engine again. That would be weird if you had to pay all of this again for the whole development. All right, we're going to go with our RPG onto a games convention. Look at that. All these fans. My employees want more cabinets. Ooh, what's that? Profit sharing! Yay! Look at that. Planet of the Invaders. This game is based on your engine. The developer sent you a billing document for profit sharing. And I got 750,000. Nice. 35% of that. That's really cool. That is a lot of extra cash that that engine made me. Already paying back for itself. Exciting. Okay, they want more cabinets. You can have a cabinet. Here, have a bully cabinet. That makes you happy. And then you work faster again. Because that's important. That you work really, really fast. Okay, QA is doing their job. I'm gonna create a TV marketing campaign for RPG. All right, what do we got here? 33%, 1.4 guaranteed to pay them. I'm gonna reject that offer. Screw that noise. We're close to release with our own title. Um, seems exciting, but I don't think I'm gonna go for that either. I'm gonna reject. Sorry, guys. Sorry for rejecting all of you, but... But I am having my own game soon. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you kidding me? Rejecting the offer. There's gonna be plenty of offers in the future. For now, I just wanna do my own and release that as fast as possible. All right, our RPG looks really good. Let's release this game now. Uh, produce ourselves. Uh, I'm going to release that thing in, uh, let's say, 10 weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks is fine. The great thing about this now is I do not have to pay any engine costs. And I have, a, like, if for a $20 retail price, I still have a lot of profit. I'm going to go with 25 retail price in the beginning. I'm going to throw a few cool things in there because we can afford it. Still $16. And it is getting how many percentage? 0.78. Hey, I'm happy with that. 90% graphics. We're really good at the graphics department. All bugs were removed. I can assign a team now to something else. It's exciting. And we're going to develop a game update, I guess. Why not? Why not? Let's throw a game update at this. It's another 79,000. And it's actually done before the game is released. Uh, let's go and produce the game. That's going to be pricey and I'm going to have to take a loan for that. Me and my loans, man. Me and my loans. Yep, borrow some money. <laughs> Look at that credit limit. Okay, uh, I'm going up to 12 million. 100,000 monthly interest. And uh, I'm not going to sign any contract. I'm going to reject the offer because we're going live now with our RPG, which is going to sell probably insane amounts. Insane amounts, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to borrow more money. 250,000. Yeah, another million. So, uh, yeah, let's go up to 15 million. That's fine. Still producing like crazy here. And yep, we're making all we're gonna make that all out of that back. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, let's create a big, nice, fat marketing campaign for this game. For TV. Uh, let's develop a game update for it. Fantastic. And nope, no reward for me for selling this. What can you do? And we're already in the plus after four weeks. Very exciting, very exciting. I feel I'm going to reduce the price a little bit. Price to, let's say 22. Just boost sales a little bit here. I mean, we're doing great, but I just want to make sure I'm going to sell a little bit more. Uh, definitely produce another 500,000. Oh man, I hope I can keep up the soap. Oh, I cannot keep up the sales. Might as well ramp the price up again to 25 if people are so crazy about 26. People are so crazy about it. I do not have enough producing capacity. That is a big shame. <laughs> I'm not producing enough. I'm not I can't keep up with the sales. Produce the game. Let's do another 500,000. And let's go ahead and ugh, price might as well ramp it up to 30. If 
people are buying it. And I got another 1.4 million by someone using my engine. Good news, everybody. We can finally pay back the credit. All of it, actually. Yep. 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 Fan friggin' tastic. Very big financial success, that game. Uh, sign a contract. New, no, I'm going to reject that offer and I'm going to develop a game update for RPG to keep it running. It's nice and smooth. Because we're still selling insane amounts. And I think it's finally the time where we're producing more than we're selling. Um, produce game. I'm going to go ahead with another 250,000, but we're going to reduce the price, let's say, to 22. And see what this does. Oh, this does a lot to the sales. Fantastic. Uh, guys, you don't have to worry at all anymore. I can just throw all of you into research and research all the coolest things. Uh, throw two more in there. And we can research all the cool features again to improve our engine. Because that is what I'm looking forward to. We're going to develop another game update. And of course, we're going to have to produce more games. Ooh, that looks good. 40% profit share, girls and frogs. Uh, I'm going to reject that offer because currently I'm working on my own stuff still. Very important. I'm gonna reduce the price for this down to, let's say, 20. Boost the sales a little bit, create a games magazine article. And I hope the update helps a little bit here and there. <laughs> gonna go on another convention, yay! Man, this is, there's so much happening so fast in this game. Okay, I think it's time to move into a bigger office in the next episode. And I can now develop MMOs. That's exciting. Very exciting. This is great. All right. So, still selling the game. Actually doing really well here on the sales. And I'm pretty sure that that magazine helps a little bit. In any case, guys. Oh, man. Still producing more. Crazy. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is a big turnaround point. Now we can do really cool things. Now that we produce ourselves successfully. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, that's not a good offer. Um, hope to see you guys in the next episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye.